Everything's good. Well, we want to welcome you to the Everett Silver Show, and I tell you, I always have exciting guests here, and I want to thank you so much for tuning into the Everett Silver Show every Friday night right here on your community station, WNCR TV 41. I tell you, it is on your dial, and make sure we're streaming all over the world. Make sure you pull us up. I have a very exciting guest, and I've been anxiously awaiting uh, him to come and talk about his new line. Folks, I'm telling you, if you ever had something to cross your mind, you want to be innovative, and things have hindered you from doing so, you find out that here's a young man that has caused uh, something to come into fruition that didn't stop him driven from the farm into uh, just having brothers and family around, speaking to his life. Ultimately, he is an entrepreneur. So why don't you help me welcome my very special guest, Stanford Moore, to the program. Stanford, I want to welcome you to the Ever Silver Show. Absolutely, Mr. <laughs> Ever Silver. It's an honor to be here. Man, I, I've been anxiously awaiting you to come, and uh, Stanford more people need to know who you are guy that's come from uh the farm helping his granddad uh a husky disrupt up street man right at husky, street. North Carolina. Right tell us street. who uh stanford moore is well stanford moore is first of all is a child of god yes sir <laughs> and uh always trying to carry himself and do things in excellence yes sir uh like you said i was raised right up the street from a high school north carolina yes, uh, born and raised i'm proud of it yeah. uh, i come from a hard working family and uh they've instilled those great values in me and those hard work and right. uh and all about services and helping mm -hmm. people you know we talked about it too uh earlier you know um on the morning show but uh, and i was just telling the viewing audience that how we excited you to come do the show tonight but talk about how family values, have we kind of, Stan, you feel like, you don't mind me calling you Stan. Now. Absolutely. Uh, but talk about the values now. Do you think that value system, how critical it was in your life and mine? Right. Is, what do you think has happened to it? Well, it's funny you ask that. I, I talk about this quite often with my friends. Uh, I feel that uh, around the age of 50, 55. Right. You know, I'm a Southern raised guy. Right. Okay. And what happened was those uh family values of where the mom was tending right. the garden. Right. You know, we don't have enough gardens. People <laughs> are trying right. to get back to that now with these little box gardens. And, right, uh, right. and the husband was out working hard all day. And you right. come home and the family sat at the table and ate together. Right. You just hardly hear of that anymore. Right. People coming together and eating at one table. Right. And those things are very important because that's the time where the family can share things, ideas, what's right. going on with you. Right. You can look in your kid's eye and so that's you can right. see if there's a problem that's going right. on. That's those right. families, uh, those values have been lost and I always say between the age of about 50 55 right, because right. a lot of kids came up in that new era of that freedom right. movement that's where right. they wanted exactly to right. escape that hard work and that's take right. and and actually uh, uh have life come to you in this microwave era a little easy right. but i think we're paying for that now right, right. but hopefully through generations and, and people like yourself bringing sure. this stuff to light that sure. we can get some of that back back you know and then stan when you talk about this now let, let's get into the hard mind of Stanford Morris. Stan, when, when I read your bio, interesting things happening, man. You you started and gave your time. Uh, military, was in the military. Yes, I did. Uh, four years. And people would think, ultimately, that before we get into you being a uh, fashion designer, people would, would have thought that. But when they look at the background, college educated, you, you, you studied uh, aeroscience. Absolutely. Uh, then you went further to work for BMI. Right. But talk about how important and critical from the corporate America that transitioned you to where, where we're about to go and talk about. Well, uh, through my corporate American uh, background, I spent 19 years, almost approaching 20 years in corporate America mm -hmm. uh, through great uh, companies such as IBM, right. uh, setting the great standard, and then now our InterSoul Corporation right. through research and design and electrical engineering. Right. And through that, you learned uh, the fundamentals of mm -hmm. how to conduct yourself, how to conduct right. a meeting, how to put right. a business plan together, how mm -hmm. to uh, manage your time well and uh, uh, allocate it to the certain projects or the right. great companies like Intel that you're working right. for. Right. And they demand a level of excellence right. as Absolutely. well that's made them to go on to be a right. billion dollar mm -hmm. corporation. So sure. with that model, I've kind of transcended that into an entrepreneur mindset as well. Now, Shaw, for those of you that are watching the program today, Stan is sharp as a tack. Now we got to get into Stan. You have your own line, and I want 
to make sure that we tell the viewing public that uh, you got to make sure if you don't write this down, you got to write down uh, again stanfordbrand.com. Stanford Brand, that's S T A N. You see it there is listed at the bottom of the screen stanfordbrand.com. And we'll get into Speedy Outfitters, which, which incorporates he and his wife have something together. But, Brand, I mean, uh, Stan, talking about this bow tie, I, is, I find it difficult. <laughs> To still, at the age I am now, as a grown man, to tie yes. a bow tie. But this is, you started, uh, uh, again, the Stanford brand started in 2011, last year. Absolutely. Talk about the uh, bow tie uh, line. Well, we're starting, uh, we're under the umbrella speedyoutfitters.com. Okay. Uh, my wife and I started this company several years ago. Okay. And we've branched off. We started Sokina. And now we're transcending now to more of the men's line. Right. Uh, and Stanfordbrand.com. Mm -hmm. And we launched mm -hmm. in this year, mm -hmm. actually spring going into the summer this year, the Stanford brand sure. line of bow ties. Right. And these are custom right. bow ties that uh, you are absolutely right. One of the uh, most difficult things that if you ask any man, sure. they want to wear the bow tie right. look but most people can't tie them and if you take a neck size like mine i'm six right. foot eight my neck size is right. 18 inches wow. if you don't get it exactly right you could spend 30 minutes working on it. if you don't get it right uh you're gonna get frustrated and not want right. to wear it anymore right. so what i did was from my research and design background and i'm very artistic in my right. own stuff right. i'm a great artist uh i sat down and laid out and my wife and i we custom designed uh our own line of bow tie uniquely right. tied Right. Uh, mm -hmm. We're the only person, uh, only people we know, the only company out there uh, that's like that. This is right. the only design that we right. found on the market. And we uniquely tie this tie to make it easily for a seven-year-old to tie. Now, now, Stan, that's come from research. You've done a lot of research. Uh, you yes, didn't sir. just start, start something, but you, you really looked into it. But what makes uh, uh, the Stanford brand so easily to tie? Why do you think it's so maybe, maybe if this is a correct way to say it, user? Yes friendly for the male to be able to tie it? Well, for the most part, if you tie a traditional bow tie where, uh, you you know, it comes down here and you have to tie it on, can't tie it off. Right. Uh, so for the most part, the Stanford brand bow tie, you can actually tie the tie right in, right in your lap. It's mm. just basically literally like tying a bow on a, a ribbon on a bow Is on a girl's right? head right? mm. and being able to then put it on just like if it was a clip on bow tie. Isn't that amazing? I Absolutely. Mean, now, now again, uh, you mentioned uh, that doesn't matter the size or, but, but, no. but you go now, now, now how does one come to, there are times you mentioned you got something coming. We're going to talk about this, about the fashion show that you got coming on. Mm. You and your wife are doing some wonderful things, sure. and, but talk about, do you teach or you have uh, in those fashion shows when people come to see or learn about your brand, it, it, what, what are you doing to, to kind of expose yourself more? Well, uh, my wife is very good at uh, running the Speedy Outfitters mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. She has a full team with the Tanya Scott, and she's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Tanya right. Scott and uh, at TanyaScott.com. Mm -hmm. Believe me, look into her. She can manage <laughs> your business and make sure you get uh, optimal exposure. Right. But they do a great job in making sure that, and, and we as a team, right. uh, making sure that everybody understands what we offer. Right how it can now tailor and suit you as right. the customer. And we want to make it very user-friendly mm -hmm. in everything we do. So right. every garment we have from uh, Sokina line right. to Stanford brand, we want to make it as user-friendly as possible. As possible. So, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Stan, you mentioned this off the air, and let's get into it for just a moment. How critical is it to have a good team around you? Unbelievable. To, 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 to help you stay on course, set the goals, I'm sure you said. Talk about the team that you, because so, so, so Kina or Shakina sure. talked about that. Your wife did when she was on the show mm. before. I can't, I can't say enough <laughs> about the uh, phenomenal team, and I can't right. even take credit for it. And right, I think right. mm -hmm. uh, truly God brings great people in each other's path right. for a reason. That's right. And my wife had a very good friend in uh, in Tanya Scott, and mm -hmm. they, I mean, they are blood sisters, right. and they 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 complement each other so well. And where my wife is weak, Tanya right. is strong, strong right. and my wife just totally has so much faith in her she mm -hmm. just turns everything over to mm -hmm. her and tanya scott just makes everything come together and she's with right. that tanya scott.com check right. her services out we right. also have sherry henry, henry of mahogany right. blue right. and my, i mean my wife has so many great people around sure, her sure. and around mm -hmm. us as a company uh to make what we do uh run that more efficiently and, you, and and so again critical to have those type of people around you but also as well 
Uh, when you talk about uh, wh what kind of goals does Stan have set out there? I know you have brand and your wife doing, sure. but talk about some of the goals or the driving force behind uh, why you thought that this was a need. Because it is, because we do sure. know there's a trend now that's happening. Bow ties are coming back in yes. style. And I think we would, I would wear more if I knew uh, how to tie. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> knew how to tie, Stan. So kind of uh, talk a little bit about that. Well, um, to tell you a little bit more about myself, I'm this guy where, you know, in the 11th, uh, when I was 11 years old, yes, sir. Uh, even in, in the sixth grade, I used to bag my clothes up because, you know, back then we would call it church clothes, school right. clothes. Well, I would put my suit and shoes in a bag and take it to school even at the sixth grade. Right. I wore a suit every Friday. I, I read that and talk about that. Even sure. child was attacked, 11 years sure. old. Sure, <laughs> 11 years old. I started wearing suits and slacks while everybody else was wearing jeans. Right. Uh, <laughs> even when my wife met me, I only owned one pair of jeans. You saw only, yeah. I, only because I appreciated the vintage era, the right. older era, where right. you see those photos of the 1930s yeah, I, I and 40s. And, and, and when people go into the markets and stuff, they wore suspenders and slacks. Right. Right. Well, right. I'm trying to bring that vintage look back into right. the modern era. Right. And I think uh, clothes are so big a part of you, your image, Absolutely your personality, right. mm -hmm. that when you're a well-dressed man, when you take the street, not only do you make the young women proud, sure, uh, your sure, daughters and sure. your sons, you give that person a new image of the future America, right. whether uh, as an American man. Sure. And yeah. uh, I'm 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 excited about it. You can tell a man uh, uh, how much he's in tune with fashion, and all sure. from his shoes. Yes. And his accessories. And his <laughs> yes, I mean, I, I know we we can buy oh, we can buy yeah. suits. Yeah. Oh yeah. We can do some cousin, but. But that tie and those shoes speak volumes. volumes. Talk talk a little bit about that uh, just for a moment because we got to get into that. Do you think we as, especially African Americans, oh, yes. kind, kind, of, kind of gotten away from yes. what, what you're talking about? Because you, you're like me. I, I, I'm saying I didn't didn't have jeans growing mm -hmm. up, man. You know, back then they had a John Wayne shirt. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm with John you. Wayne. <laughs> I'm with you. And so uh, uh, talk a little about that. Speaks of volume before anybody sees you because you're a brand before anybody yes, sees you. Yes, sir. People see the bow ties, see the distinctiveness about you. Talk yes. about that. Well, that. Uh, you know, when I walk out the house, I not only represent myself, I represent my, my children. Sure, sure. I represent the legacy that I'm leaving here on earth. Yeah. I represent my parents and everybody that's not even present on the scene. Right, right. I'm a walking business sure, card. Sure, sure. And so I think it's... Uh, uh, out of respect for all those things I just named that I make sure that right. I wear the best of shoes, making sure my shoes are polished. I wear right. the best in accessories right. and that right. means that bow tie and that <laughs> making right. sure all those things are on point because I right. think it's right. just a little bit of details right. that can enhance the entire That's outfit. Right. Absolutely. Now, how, if you, cause, cause a lot of times people always talk about, uh, you know, from the female perspective that they can buy different accessories sure. and uh, make their dresses and stuff mm -hmm. look good. But talk about how, uh, I mean, when you're going through that, because you have different lines. You talked about prior to coming here, things sure. you were doing as far as um, uh, getting it out there, because you do, you guys offer a good marketing strategy. Absolutely. How, how critical is marketing? Marketing is very important. I mean, you can be in business, but if nobody knows you're in business, you're right. going to go out of business. <laughs> uh, so it's very detrimental that it's, you know, in business, it's always a numbers mm -hmm. game. Right. You right. know, you don't mm -hmm. need everybody, right. but you need those people that are called to you. Sure. And it's just a few. Right. And mm -hmm. a few through referrals can right. move many. Right. And right. so it's a very uh, big marketing campaign that we have going on through my wife and uh, the Italian Sky Agency. And we just mm -hmm. got great people around us. My wife is a right. marketing genius. So <laughs> right. everyone will know we're in business at all times. And yeah. it's so it's so important to, to get your product out to all the boutiques and, and, and department stores and let them know that you have something to offer and let God do his magic. Stan, this is close to me. We're, we're both uh, African-American men and we love our families. Sure. We're driven. We got a family that we have to take care of. But talk about it because you alluded to it uh, early on. How important, first of all, God is in the midst yes. of, uh, of, of first of all, you know, allow, allowing him to bless us with this gift. Mm -hmm. But you talk about God-fearing uh, young man and then you, you, you really... How much do you consult him? How much that he that you go to him and say, Lord, help me with this innovative idea, and how can I do it? Talk about that. Well, to give you an example, I was just walking around in prayer before mm. I even came on the air. Yes, sir. And uh -huh. so I think when you have 
uh, a constant presence about you and awareness right. that you're not here just for yourself, but right. you're here for others. Right, right. You got to right. take yourself out of the picture. And when you mm -hmm. step back and let God to That's speak right. through you right. and to move through you to others, right. uh, it's going to change not only your environment, but right. it's going to actually move people all mm -hmm. around all you. Around. Yes, and sir. if you can learn to move people, people move money. Mm -hmm. And so you can't do this business. You can't walk. You can't take a breath without God. Right. Right. And I consult him in everything mm -hmm. I do. So that's very important to me. It's critical. You and your wife now have a business. Let's talk about the connection because uh, I had an opportunity to interview your wife on the show and uh, but talk about you guys have not only just the Stanford brand but you mm -hmm. have speedy outfitters yes. that consist of and I was at one of the the opening uh, uh, that when your wife uh, opened up her line mm -hmm. Sokina yes fashion designer wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful line Great, and and again the the you, you got to make sure you guys go to the website but talk about what you guys' plan is together because this is a spinoff from Speedy Outfitters. So talk about Speedy Outfitters. Well, Speedy Outfitters as a company, I mean, it is just, uh, like I said, it's, 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 it's what we do and who we are. Right. Uh, my wife is such a genius right. at mine. I mean, she right. hasn't even begun to right. tap break the surface of the right. things that creative genius that she has inside sure, of her. Sure, sure. Speedy Outfit and Umbrella as a company, we're more than just a fashion company but we are a movement right. uh, we're about changing people for the kingdom right. in all facets right. uh, from area to area my wife also has a book Shoe in the Fat Shoe which you can fat. purchase on Amazon.com mm -hmm. phenomenal book it's, it is, we're getting yeah. so many sure. great reviews about it mm -hmm. uh, she has a clothing line Sokina that's for the leader woman right. uh, is right. really <laughs> taking our young ladies and our young corporate women and giving them that's a new right. look about themselves that's a new right. sense of confidence mm -hmm. uh, we got my wife the speaker uh, she's being called out and sought out all over the country, over the country. Uh, speaking engagements mm -hmm. and actually speaking into the youth, the up and coming leader right. woman. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, she's a stylist. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So she can take you mm -hmm. and bring out that greatness that's already lying in you. She can right. pull it out uh, through her stylist uh, genius. And she as has well. a background of that. I remember interviewing her before. Uh, an educator was once an assistant principal right here at school, Winston Elementary, I sure. believe. School. Uh, elementary school here. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about uh, God's giving her a platform to speak into other uh, young people's life. But I want to tell you though, I, when I heard you talking just now, mm -hmm. I sensed the proudness uh, and the grandeur yes. towards your your wife, your yes. family, and I'm sure it's like I sense the same thing from her. Yes. What, what, let's talk a little bit about this, Stan, for just a moment. What, what do you think the it's critical that we keep our families together that we keep close in a world where statistically folks are giving up on their marriages, giving yes. up their home, giving up on their fam uh, their businesses. What are some of the, the missing elements that you think we could keep all that in line? Well, uh, one of the things that my wife and I do, uh, mm -hmm. you know, of course, marriages constantly take work, Absolutely. which business does, Absolutely right. and it takes maintenance, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, it may sound harsh, but we run our marriage kind of like a business. Right, that's right. means mm -hmm. only we communicate with each other on Absolutely. a regular basis. That Absolutely. means you have to date. Mm -hmm. There's a time at the end of the month where right. we all come together in right. a neutral setting where that's we right. lay out our differences or mm -hmm. things that we need to step up in. Right, right. And by doing that, you mm -hmm. don't uh, have those conflicts sporadically right. out, of control, out of control that you right. can lay them all on the table and say, you know right. what, baby, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know what, I was wrong. I need right. to step up in this area. Right. I can't mm -hmm. slack off because we maintain mm -hmm. that all the time right. and one of the things in the and, and what's going on in the world today we have so many options right and it's right. in this world right. today we have right. a lot of options sure. and we took those options off the table mm -hmm. you know failure is not right. an option. It's divorce not an option. is not an option <laughs> and with that's not an option right. you don't begin to uh, consider right. that that's and right. you constantly work on what you have if right. you know you can't right. get out of this mm -hmm. We won't get out of this because we didn't choose each other. I think God chose us and, and uh, for, each for each other. And we're stepping out of those paradigms. We should because sometimes, ultimately, I think uh, in our cultures, things have changed uh, uh, to where uh, we may have embraced those neg mm -hmm. negative thoughts. We may have embraced uh, because, I, I don't want to use this word so, so loosely, but ignorance in the, in the sense of mm -hmm. not knowing is mm -hmm. not a bad thing at, at some time. But if you know you're ignorant to the fact, <laughs> right. why not try to learn more yes. and move towards that? Yeah. Talk, talk, when you think in terms of that, nothing, I'm sure some obstacles come. Somebody's watching us tonight and said, you know, st Stan, because I heard you say at some time, uh, was it, is it, has it been hard or has it been relatively easy to 
go towards something that was uh, in your mind that's, that you've you know wrapped around your, your mind name? Um, it's it can be hard if I rely just on me. Right, right. Good but point. if it came there <laughs> right. and right. I trust in God that He put it there, I don't right. think nothing is by coincidence. Right, exactly. Whether you wake up out of a dream, right, <laughs> or I mean, nothing is by chance. And I think God has a destiny mm-hmm. already set out and planned of us. But if we learn right. to tune in and hear from Him right. and walk in it, right. He will make it and allow mm-hmm. it to come clear the closer mm-hmm. we are to it. And it's amazing that as we speak to all again, folks, you just now tune into the Every Silver Show. Exciting guests, I tell you, and join uh, Stanford uh, more here. Again, make sure you go to their website. Uh, he and his wife uh, begin talking. To go to stanfordbrand.com. And, and, and Stan, now, uh, again, as we are, people can be able to call you uh, and get the, I, I'm telling you, if he had, and I'm sure I, well, I'm trying to make sure I protect them and say we got to look out for each other. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fine. But we have, uh, if you had bow ties here today, I'm telling you they would have just sold out. Oh, I was really? inquiring about it. You know, I got to oh, no. be the first to buy. And mm-hmm. I, I'm supportive of uh, of you and your wife, uh, Shakina. <laughs> I got you. But 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 talk about how people can just get it. The different colors uh, are the color schemes important. The very color schemes, because bow ties, if you notice the bow tie man, whether it's mm-hmm. the professor or sure. uh, the lawyer or the mm-hmm. businessman, mm-hmm. they're unique in their own way. Right. They're a right. confident person. Right. Uh-huh. They're a person that wants you to know that we stand out in the crowd. Right. And right. they walk with shoulders back and head right. high. That's right. Uh, for the bow tie mm-hmm. man, the bow ties don't have to be perfect because right. a perfect tie is for the perfect gentleman. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no one's perfect, but that's everyone right. has their own gift and uniqueness in their own way. Right. Well, that's what these bow ties are meant to do. They're right. a variation of colors, mm-hmm. textures, right. sizes. Right. That right. whatever mood you have. Right. Right. Uh, whatever in that whatever marketing way that you want to stand out for that day and sure. know you're in the room, <laughs> these bow ties will get you noticed. Right. <laughs> they will. They, they will. And then too, but can can we talk a little history about uh, some of the things that? I remember though there are times when and I and I know we've evolved and, mm-hmm. and culture changed mm-hmm. a lot, but I remember the, the only person I remember distinctly seeing people like Malcolm X or That's people right. like um, right. uh, when, when I think in terms of you know bow ties who have you know made made it a fashion, right. but talk about the trend that that the days of old into now and why you think that we slowly need need to get back into a, as a fashion. Well. You know, we were a proud people once before. Right. We right. carried a strong name. Right. We were taught. We were raised as a family village. Right. You know, right. back in the early days uh, when we all migrated from right. that uh, plantation sure. era, mm-hmm. uh, people came together as a family because that's all you had. That's all you had. You know, exactly. even when I grew up in a husky, mm-hmm. that's all we had. Right. There that's was church. Mm-hmm. There that's was right. some that's custom that. things. There was eating at the table. There right. was family reunions. There was those right. things that you just knew you mm-hmm. carried on that name to the next generation right, and granddaddy right. and grandma made sure of that Absolutely. well we're getting from that mm-hmm. and what's b- being brought to the forefront now we're getting back to the foundation of the things that kept us together sure, kept as a sense right. of reminder right, right. and just mm-hmm. this conversation alone mm-hmm. takes us back and we Absolutely. go back right. to say that's wow right. mm-hmm. there's bow ties that's right <laughs> and those are some of those things I remember my granddaddy sure, used to wear sure. that at the mm-hmm. church or mm-hmm. uh, my grandfather I saw the pictures right of my granddad as a youth, sure. playing uh-huh. around, even in uh-huh. just playing around in the mud. He had his suspenders on, his uh-huh. slacks, sure. his old shoes. Uh-huh. But at the same time, he was well dressed and he was uh-huh. proud. Uh-huh. All right, uh-huh. uh, of the sure. look and, and right. what he represented as a person. We don't just have to wait for a special occasion now. Uh, you know, after five or dressing mm-hmm. up with this tuxedo and yes. bow tie. You know, you're doing something unique. But uh, but when I think think in terms of where we have evolved from. And, sure. But also, Stan, talk about how, how proud we should be of the name. We were proud of our name. Proud of our name. Our heritage. Yes. Proud of, of things that we've... Yes. And here, and again, I, I, you know, being a male factor, I'm proud of you guys, what you're doing as Thank a you. team, things that you're doing. That's why I bring... I don't, I don't just do a TV show because yes. I can just yes. do it. There's a purpose, Stan, as to why we use the platforms yes. and we got to expose it because folk especially us as african americans mm-hmm. need to see us doing something sure how critical is that to show not only because you you know not only your children are modeling yes. after you you got folks that say 
I like what Stan is doing. I like yes. what he looked like. I like what his image. Well, first of all, let me take time right now to give it back to you. Okay. Uh, I, I've never heard a bad thing said about you. I've yes, always been a fan of your show, a fan yes, of your work. You Thank did you, great sir. work with my wife. My wife speaks volume of Thank you, and sir. She doesn't do right. that for just anybody. Right. I, I believe that. And, and, yeah. and mm -hmm. I just look at what you have going here. Mm -hmm. People like what we're doing and what we're trying to convey to the public. Right, right. Uh, just mm -hmm. today, us coming together. Right. It's right. so needed yes, uh, mm -hmm. to... to to for that next generation right because mm -hmm. we got to be able to fill in that gap right and mm -hmm. it should be more voices out there and mm -hmm. i think it's very critical it should be more voices uh speaking out mm -hmm. getting us back to those family fundamental right. foundational things right. because we don't want our next generation lost because right. we both have young children mm -hmm. right. and we're trying to save a generation we're trying to say we both are family man now yes. you got children we talked a little bit about that uh Young newborn, want to say congratulations sure, to they have you. a newborn. I don't even want to go back. To right. two year old. Oh, wow. I got a two year old now standing up saying, Boy, if you don't sit out, <laughs> oh, sometimes you come to the studio here, oh, man, I takes know. over the show. But I you know, know, they're learning yes. because that's important to us to pass down yes. uh, what, we're, what, what we're doing. And do, do, how how um, involved are your children? Like when you start creating, mm -hmm. and you start talking, oh, I, yeah. I know they're right there because they're picking it up. Oh, they're wow. it. I know it, and I, I'm such a proud father. <laughs> I, I, I keep them wherever I go, they're out waiting for me now. Yes, sir. Uh, Can't believe that, folks. They're out. You sound like me, but they're yeah. everywhere. <laughs> they're right, they're everywhere. And I was so uh, excited for my son. I have a 24 year old son, Deshaun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very creative in his own right. The guy should model. Very right. handsome right. young man. <laughs> I'm just so excited for yeah. him because he has so many talents and skills. He's a skilled photographer. Right. He's a musician. Right. Uh, he's a music producer. That's right. uh, just, just doing such phenomenal things in the community. And he has such a bright future for him. Right. Uh, we lost a child uh, 14 sure. years ago, sure. uh, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he would have been 14 today. Mm -hmm. We also have a young, bright mind coming up. Mind yes, that's our yes. four year old yes, Colin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Colin mm -hmm. is his name's mean happy yeah, child. Yeah. Now we want to keep him happy, <laughs> and uh, he's all over the place. But right. he's starting to develop in such a well mannered young man. Right, and right. then we have a brand new born, three months old, three and months that's little Lance. Little I mean, Lance, Lance is a feisty <laughs> one. He's gonna definitely control the household, he's gonna that's set right. the tone. Uh, but yeah. I'm so excited, I'm such a proud father. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just I can't speak enough about it. But enough about Stan. What you guys coming? I know when you start talking about what your wife has got a plan. I know. Well, she, again, you wrote, you mentioned briefly about she got a book out. Yes. I, we purchased. My wife and I came to mm -hmm. the fashion show, but we purchased the book. Showing the mm -hmm. fat, awesome book. But what else do you guys have coming up? And I know she, uh, your wife uh, Shakina got you guys on this this pad but I know you mentioned about a fashion show is there anything that we can tell the public that's coming up soon well it's not for us so we, we we're a part of a, a style exhibition down in Columbia South Carolina coming okay. up in April okay uh with okay. that, uh, you know, we're, we're one of the featured designers there. Wow. Uh, so our product line will be featured there also. Okay. Uh, so you can you can check that out. I think it's April 26th through the 28th down okay. in Columbia, South Carolina. Stan, so we're just getting involved in it. Yeah, thank you so much for things. doing the show. Absolutely. Stan, I appreciate it. Stan's been my guest. So I want to thank you again for watching the Every Super Show. And uh, you see us right here every Friday night, 6 o'clock p.m. as we're bringing it right to you with exciting guests, exciting new uh, shows coming your way. Make sure you go to stanfordbrand.com. I'm Everett Silver. God bless you. We'll see you next Friday night.